We're still here at Large's Lane after Car Shorten Athletic registered a 2-0 win against Bracknell Town today, but it wasn't all one-way traffic. I've been joined by town manager uh, Sam Locke. Sam, thanks for joining us first and foremost. Um, obviously, f disappointing result. What, what did you say to the boys in the dressing room afterwards? Yeah, I mean, listen, we, we came into the game, we know Carl Shorten are a top side. It's some very good attacking players and you have a very dynamic way of playing football and um, obviously we've had you watched, we looked at the game and we had a game plan to, to kind of frustrate you in the first half, sitting deep and obviously try and get to half time nil nil but against good sides you make a mistake they'll punish you and ultimately we switched off once was punished I think they were I think they're favourites to win their league so we knew it was going to be a tough game uh, obviously the 3G suits us we're used to playing on that um, pretty much similar to Bogner really um, but, but we knew that we'd be on the ascendancy if I'm honest personally I didn't think I didn't expect them to sit in as they did. I thought they would have come after us a little bit, but that allowed us to dictate the to dictate the first half. Coming at half time, and then we said, Do you know what? Let's go and impose ourselves on them. And we had a good 20, 25 minute spell where I thought we dominated the game and just didn't get the didn't get the goal. And when you don't get the goal, again, good sides they punish you going the other way. And listen, Carl Shelton are a good side. I can see them doing very well in their league this year, and hopefully all the best of luck to them in the FA Cup as well. I hope they have a good run. Yeah, I thought we played well today. Really, a first half performance really done it for us. We was a bit sloppy coming out first 20 minutes, second half. Credit to Bracknell, they made it difficult for us. You know, they applied pressure, they made it, uh, they, they built their block and they made it tight. Uh, a bit difficult for us to play the through passes to some of our threatening players. Uh, but overall, as I said, it was nice to get the win. But the question for us is we just have to kill teams early because when we have in possession and with some of the athletic and natural ability that we have, in our squad with the Rickies and Omar and Christy and Jerry, you know, I think we just need to make sure that we dominate games early doors and we finish early doors. Second half, they came out fighting a little bit though. In the first 20 minutes or so, they put um, our goal under a little bit of pressure. Uh, what, what did you say to the boys, obviously the back four and Kletch yourself, what did, did you have to sort of really bond together to make sure that we kept that clean sheet? Yeah, of course, obviously we, after the first half and the way they set in, we expected them to come out at us a little bit. Um, that every every team we play is going to have a little spell. We just need to make sure that we're on our game and we we don't concede. And obviously, nice to keep another clean sheet. Is it one of those games where you thought the longer it stayed nil nil, the more they might have a chance to nick it one nil maybe? Yeah, and from a set piece from the long throw, they're the long throw specialist. And you know, it, if it, you know, you chuck that chuck the ball in, anything can happen really. But. We, we cope with it quite well, if, if I'm honest, to be honest. It was, it was all right. Both the goals were, were kind of poachers, poachers goals, really, at the end of the day, wasn't it? Yeah. The first one was a miss-hit shot. The second one, Mark's made a good save. Yeah, li li that's football. I mean, you, you get into the right areas of the pitch, you're going to create your own luck and get your second balls. And listen, I, as I say, I don't want to talk about excuses because it's not it's not, not what we do here. Um, there's people that got opportunities to come in and they were brilliant today and I, I'm impressed with all of them. I'm impressed with my team. I'm impressed with the way we impose themselves. And we're not going to be playing Carl Shorten every week. Um, we've got aims this year and we're more focused than ever to concentrate on them. And I'm just delighted to get back into training, have two, have, have, have a whole seven days without a game of football so I can't get some bodies back. And as I say, we've got, we got our own cup final again on Saturday. Wembley's on the horizon. It's only 12 or 13 more matches and we're there. <laughs> One game at a time. Um, it's always nice to have a good cup run as we did last year in the FA Trophy. So, yeah, why can't we go and do something similar in the FA Cup this season? So, a little carrot for us to to look look towards. So, hopefully we can have a nice little run. Yeah, please do, please do. I want us to get to the first round proper so we can cover that. That'd be amazing. Yeah, that'd be great. I mean, if we could do that and then get a nice nice uh, draw against the league side, that'd be, that'd be what we'd all look forward to. 12 or so games left to go and we're there, mate. Uh, I think uh, we've just got to take every game as it comes, uh, James. Uh, that old we've, got be, we've got to be realistic and I think uh, what's fantastic to see is that we're on that momentum now. Five wins. We've kept three clean sheets since uh, Clayton's come in. But overall, the, the, back, the back four, the back five, the, the whole squad, you know, they're working hard for and with each other, which is fantastic to see. The goals are kind of poachers' goals at the end of the day, though, weren't they? Jerry's not claiming that, he, that his was a cross. It was a definite shot that he scuffed, I reckon. Yeah, it was where it came from before that, though. Literally, Clates kicked it, Pat's flicked it on, it went to Jerry, scuffed the shot, and Christie's followed it in. Yeah. So it was, a, it was a simple goal. And before that, we was maybe overcomplicating things a little bit in the final third and struggling to really get that killer chance. But literally, a route one clearance, a flick on... A, a miss it shot and then we, we're one nil up. One thing that we're saying to the guys to the side is because we had a few chances earlier where the boys trying to take a touch in that area and then try and score that pretty goal. But sometimes you just got to take a chance to hit it first time. And luckily Jerry did it. Yes, uh, it looked like he mishit it. He meant to shoot. And luckily Christy, you know, anticipated it and ran into the far post and slotted in. Pleasing to see. Omar, I don't know how he finished it from that tight angle. It looked like he was running out of room every second. Yeah, terrific, terrific. Uh, 
angle and he, he, he put it in the net nicely. Three clean sheets in a row, three full appearances for, for Mr Dudley. Uh, how much of a big difference has uh, Colette's made to the team? Yeah, no. Nah. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice. I mean, I mean, you can see his distribution is, is top rate. So if we want to, if the ball goes into his hands and we want to get get an attack going straight away, uh, either side, both feet. I mean, in training, he pings him with his left as well. So um, yeah, it's, it's nice to have that behind you. Um, but yeah, no, nah, he's, he's come in, he's fitted straight in. Uh, he's a nice lad. He really is a good goalkeeper. Excellent kicking. And he's a good shot stopper as well. He made a couple of good saves in the second half, especially. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, low down one on to, to his right. Yeah, he made a good, a good save. Yeah. What's pleasing to see he is settled in with the boys, very, you know, nice and early, which is nice to see when someone someone new comes in the team. But I mean, we're pleased to have some fantastic goalkeepers, and um, you know, it's great to work with those guys. And uh, obviously with Clayton and Patrick pushing each other, so it's great to see. And we've got some good youngsters coming through the ranks as well. And seriously, you've come back into the team as well. Uh, three appearances, three clean sheets, you know. How are you feeling within yourself? Obviously a frustrating start to the season being on the bench. Yeah, obviously it, 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 that's part and parcel of it. As Peter's made very clear, you're going to need a squad to do what we want to do this year. So I just had to be patient, wait for my opportunity. Um, thankfully I was given that against Leverhead and I haven't really looked back. So um, our job ultimately as defenders is to defend and keep clean sheets. So yes, it's nice for the praise, but that's what we should be doing anyway. Being part of the defensive-minded coaches, that's got to be very pleasing. What, what can you put it down to? What's changed over the past sort of month or so? I think it's hard work. It's hard work. For, for us, it's hard work. And the leadership qualities that the, all of the team is, uh, is demonstrating on the pitch, I think that's fantastic because you just don't keep a clean sheet just by, you know, by luck. Clayton made some great saves last weekend. Today, he made a couple of great saves. Uh, but the, the defensive units are working very well with, with each other. I think having the midfield players uh, supporting the defence as well. But you look at the, you know, our philosophy, Keith, Pete, and and mine is our de defensive work starts from the front three, you know. And uh, if they're doing the work correctly, then uh, the whole team works together. So, did you have a view on the sending off, by the way? Because it was uh, the guy definitely pulled his shirt. But Levi done really well, didn't he, to break, break in between the two defenders? Yeah, I mean. I think the pass from the fullback across didn't help the fella out, but then Levi's obviously lightning, so he's broke onto it. And I was I was obviously down the other end of the pitch, but I mean it was similar to last week's Papos in terms of the goal scoring opportunity. So probably probably the right decision. Before today, only one defeat in six, and you're, you're sitting quite nicely in in the league. What is the ambition for this season? I think um, we're a new group of players. Um, I feel that we've created a very good squad here and I've seen enough today to know that we're going to compete in every game we play. Um, obviously it's about bedding that in and going on a run and building momentum. Uh, we want to be in around it and obviously see if you start picking off a few wins on the bounce so you never know you might be right there so that's that's our plan for the season. And what, what, just lastly what do you think about Hornchurch next week because they got off to a bit of a flyer so far this season are you expecting a big battle? Oh, it could be a good, be a tough game they put, I think they put six away a day so it's going to be a hard game yeah. Confident we can get a result, though. Oh yeah, uh, uh, definitely. Yeah, I, I'm, we're always. I'm always confident. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice one, Mark. Thanks, mate. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Cheers.